this video is that I'm shooting is um, a, a DRO that I just purchased. It, purchased is from uh, AliExpress. They're on the web. It comes from Hong Kong. Um, I can put uh, the website on where I got it from, but it's a uh, three-axis DRO for a Bridgeport J-head milling machine, uh, an older one. Um, it's uh, it was two hundred eighty-five dollars, including shipping, and it took about a week to get. So I just got this uh, yesterday, and I'm going to unbox it now, and so you can see it firsthand. And then I'm going to be um, installing it at a later date, uh, maybe today or tomorrow, and then I'll shoot another video of that. But I want you to see it as I unbox it. I did split the boxes open to save time uh, with the utility knife, but let's uh, let's open it up. It looks like they did a very nice job of packaging it. They got um, foam all the way around. So let's see what we got here. Let's lay it flat. Okay, so what we have here is the... DRO, and that, there it is here, that's upside down, I'll turn it around in a second, here's the DRO, three axis, uh, and uh, here is the mounting bracket, there's the mounting bracket and there's the other plate for it, let's put this over here. Um, here's the directions for it, digital readout directions, and what else is in the box is, uh, looks like mounting hardware and a power cord. That takes care of the DRO. So let's put this all over here, and let's open up the scales. The scales I uh, purchased were, when you order it, uh, you got to tell them what size scales you want. And um, for that price, $285, the scales, they'll give you up to a 1,000 uh, millimeters. And uh, the bridge port, um, that's not total into the scale. You have to add 142 millimeters on top of that. That's for the mounting of the scale. So one of the scales uh, was 48 inches. The other one was 10. And I think the other one was 20 inches. So it was all within the range for the 285. So that worked out fine. Uh, they also give you the mounting hardware. This is the shields for the scale. And what this is, is this uh, angled aluminum brackets to protect the scales from metal chips. There's three of them there. So, and let's look at the scales now. Over here. Now here's some more mounting brackets for the scales to mount on the milling machine. more there's more brackets more brackets and there's mounting hardware there's some more L brackets so let's look at the scales uh, again more hardware The nice thing about these um, scales, as compared to other, uh, other DRO that I purchased, was the um, cables on this other DRO I purchased from my lathe. Let me make sure there's nothing else in the box. No, it's empty. The other DROs I purchased from my lathe um, did not have uh, uh, armored uh, jacketed on the cables. It was just cables. So yeah, these are armored jackets with. Um, Looks like a serial port type connector, nine pin serial port connector. The other ones just had cables, so you had to be careful in the routing of it so you wouldn't damage the uh, cables. And this one here has armored cables, uh, which is kind of nice because it's a little more rugged. So let's open this up. Let's see what we have here. I wanted to see how it was packaged. This came from Hong Kong. Um, and it didn't take that long to get. Uh, somebody on one of my milling uh, groups that I uh, belong to, Yahoo Groups, this Bridgeport group, um, everybody had recommendations of DRO, but the prices I was seeing was uh, about 600 bucks at three axis. And I wanted three axis because it's going to be uh, the X and Y axis and the Z axis is going to be the knee. I have a scale that mounts on the quill, so I don't need the four axis. They did, they did sell a four axis, but I don't need that. 
sometimes that scale gets in the way, so that's why I didn't go with the four axes. Um, so let's open this up. Okay, here's the first scale, and that looks like it's the nine-inch scale for the uh, y-axis. And there's the uh, knee axis scale, and that's the 20 inch axis. And the next one is going to be the 48 inch scale, which we're going to get out here in a second. And there's the 48 inch scale. Now, when you, um, the measurements are, there's two measurements. One is the overall measurement, which is from mounting hardware to mounting hardware. The other one is the actual travel of the uh, of the scale. And this is locked. They have a locking plate so these things don't slide around. And I don't want to lock them until I'm ready to mount it. Once I mount it and tie it in, then I'll lock it. So from what I could see, they did a very nice job packaging it. They gave you all the necessary hardware. And our next step is going to be um, to mount it. And uh, let me just get them all out here. So it looks like it's decent quality. The scales are very nice. Uh, and I think that it's going to do what I want it to do. Uh, the accuracy is uh, intense. So it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be very nice. So here it is right here. I'll do a close-up of it. There's a mounting hardware. I have to figure out where I'm going to mount it on the actual bridge port. Um, make sure we get it the right way. So there it is there. I wanted you to see that before I actually um, started mounting it. I'm very So far, I'm very happy with the, um, with the electronics. It, it looks like it's decent quality. The, there's a booklet that tells you the function. Uh, I'm going to kind of flip through it here. It tells you, you know, how to do the calculations. Uh, I don't know if it says instructions on mounting, but if you're a machinist and uh, run a bridge board, you pretty much know how you have to mount it. That's not uh, rocket science. So that uh, kind of finalizes it. Uh, the next step will be um, mounting the scales, mounting the display, and showing its operation. So at this point in time, it, it looks good. I have to reply back. They sent me an email. They want to know if um, if I received it and uh, how much shipping that I have to do. Okay, and uh, so that's pretty much uh, going to do that until I do the next uh, next installment of um, installing it on the bridge port. Uh, uh, you know, this is going to be also posted on my uh, Leica Mobile group that I belong to. And when you unfortunately when you have a, a car as that is, it's a 1901 uh, replica. Uh, you tend to have to do a lot of machining to make parts because uh, the car is an original, uh, the engine is an original 1901 uh, Mason engine and you just don't buy a part, you have to machine your own parts when you need a part that's worn out or broken. So, and I wanted the accuracy and that's why I bought the DRR. I've been running the milling machine for, God, got to be 15 years without the DRR just using the, the uh, scale on the um, X and Y axis, the dials. But I'm tired of doing that. I want to get more accuracy, and you know, as you get more experience in machining over the years, you always strive for more accuracy and repeatability. And I've been cutting, uh, doing a lot of gear cutting, and I find that I really need the accuracy for gear cutting. Uh, you know, before it was okay with the with the accuracy that I was getting. Uh, there's always backlash in the lead screws, and you have to compensate for that. And it, and it worked out fine, but now, um, like anything else, uh, as time evolves by, you want to get more accurate. So both of my lathe and my uh, mill machine have uh, DROs on it, and I find that it's a lot easier to machine with it as far as repeatability goes. So that should do it for now, and uh, the next uh, video will be uh, it being installed on the bridge port.